This is Ed Falchius from GSTwins.com. If you're watching this video, something has gone horribly wrong with your oil change. Today I'm going to show you how to repair your broken oil filter cover stud right here. First we're going to break these by over tightening the nuts. And if you use a ratchet with a longer handle, you're going to be able to put more force on them. Just for an experiment, I'm going to see how much torque it is to break one. It took about 130 inch-pounds, which is more than double the recommended torque to break those off. When I go ahead and remove the cover, you can see our broken studs. In order to fix this, you'll need a new stud and a new nut. Now depending on how the studs broke, there's a couple different ways you can go about fixing this. Before you do, you might need to remove the forks and the exhaust so you can get good clearance. These broke with enough of the studs sticking out of the engine so that you can grab them with vice grips. With the stud removed, inspect the threads. If this doesn't look like it's stripped, the threads in the engine should be okay to put a new stud in. With the stud removed, we're going to tap the hole. We're going to use a 6x1.0 tap. First you want to lube the hole. And then so you want to go a little bit in and then take it little bit out and then keep doing that. With our threads tapped we can go ahead and install our stud. The proper way to do this is with a stud installer but ours won't fit in there so I'm gonna do it by hand and then with vice grips. So you wanna install it with a short end going in and when you use the vice grips you want to make sure that you're holding the center part and you're not damaging the threads. Another method to remove the stud is by cutting a little notch right here and then taking a screwdriver and unscrewing it. You can use a hacksaw, a dremel, or in this case a cutting wheel. With the notch cut, try removing the stud with a screwdriver. If the stud doesn't break loose with a screwdriver, you can use a hand impact driver. If you're really unlucky, you've got a stud that's broken off and is flush against the engine. Uh, to simulate that, I'm just going to go ahead and cut it off. There's a couple different ways to deal with a stud that's broken off flush. First, we're going to try to use an extractor set. To make it easy, I'm going to mark the center. Extractor sets are composed of a left-handed drill bit and the corresponding extractor. Wow. 
set your drill to reverse and drill your pilot hole. With the drill still in reverse, use the corresponding extractor in your pilot hole to take out the stud. Make sure you're pressing really hard. If your extractor failed to remove the stud, you can use a regular drill bit drill out the stud and then you'll have to go ahead and tap the hole. With the stud removed you can tap the hole, make sure you lube it first. If you aren't able to tap the threads in your engine, you'll have to go ahead and get a helicoil thread repair kit. It consists of the helicoil, the tap, and the installation tool. Now what it does is it installs this helicoil and it provides new threads for your stud. For the helicoils, you do have to get the size you need. In this case, it's six by one. If you look on your helicoil tap, it'll tell you what size drill bit to use to drill out your hole. In this case, it's a quarter inch. You want to go ahead and lube your hole. Make sure when you're drilling that you've got it perfectly straight. You don't have to push too hard. After you drill your hole, you want to tap it using your helicoil tap. I have a tap socket here. That didn't come with a kit. You want to lube your hole and this is an important step where you have to make sure that you're tapping in straight. That'll dictate whether you've got straight studs or if your engine is going to be junk. So when you're Going in, just like with the other tapping we did, you want to go in and then take it out, go in and take it out. You'll see some shavings, you just want to make sure that you don't get any of that in your engine. Using the tool in your helicoil kit, go ahead and follow the instructions to install the helicoil. With your helicoil now inserted into your engine, you can go ahead and put your stud in. If you don't feel comfortable doing the helicoil yourself, you can take your bike to a competent machine shop. We have enough clearance on this lower hole to go ahead and use our stud installer. I'm going to put it in by hand first, and unlike vice grips, this won't damage the thread. With our new studs installed, go ahead and clean out any metal shavings that may have gotten into there. and try out your cover. That'll work. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you need more information, go to gstwins.com.